In the early Cretaceous, the movement of the continents is not only breaking up the giant northern and southern land masses, but it continues to push up sea levels. This has opened up new seaways and coastlines. Where once there was solid land, now there are ragged cliffs, buzzing with a colorful abundance of flying reptiles called pterosaurs. Pterosaurs have filled the skies for 100 million years, and many species are now huge. Wingspans of six meters and more are common. But there is one species that dwarfs them all. He is Ornithocyrus, 12 meters from wingtip to wingtip and a body bigger than a man's. He is the undisputed king of the skies. This giant is over 40 years old. Most of his life has been spent wandering the globe in search of food. But every year, there is a dramatic interruption to this nomadic lifestyle. It will soon be time to find a mate. On the rock ledges around him, the mating season for another pterosaur is well underway, the bizarre-looking tapajara. Pterosaur's wings are thin membranes of skin that stretch from elongated fingers on their forelimbs to the ends of their hind limbs. Their bones are hollow and very lightweight. They are masters of the air, but on land they are cumbersome, with their legs joined up by the wings. Squatting on all fours, the males try and claim a prominent area from which to display to the females above. They show off their colorful crests until one competitor backs down. A large crest is also a lure to the females. A potential mate soon makes a cautious approach, her head dipped in submission. As in any competition, there are losers. Unable to secure himself a good display patch, this male is perilously close to a blowhole. Down here, he has little chance of attracting a mate. Instinct is telling the Ornithocyrus that it is time to move on. He must leave these shores and return to his breeding site in Europe, on the other side of the world. <laughs> 